What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a chest holster rig that I ordered five years ago. Yes, you heard me right, five years ago. Let me give you the backstory. Ordered this holster five years ago from Paradise Valley Leather. I was looking for a chest rig holster for my Public Defender Poly, and all the holsters out there were like 170 bucks, 150 bucks. They were very expensive. They were Kydex. Personally, I like leather, so I found this Paradise Valley Leather and he hooked me up. The guy gave me a really great deal on it and he shipped it out to me. I received it, wore it for about six months because I like to review things for a while before I give a review publicly. Just so if there's any flaws in it, I'll know about it ahead of time. Because in the past I've done reviews saying, yeah, this is great when I had it for a couple of days and then it turned out to be junk. But anyway, got the holster, like I said, wore it, loved it. Then before you know it, we sold the house, we were moving. Everything got packed up, I lost it. Uh, we're in this house now just about three years have been looking for it since we got here But we finally start going through the boxes down here and I found it about six months ago So I put it back into the rotation been wearing it and you know checking it out again, and it, it's great So I finally decided to do a review on it. So without further ado, let's jump into the video All right, so we're down on the bench with the Paradise Valley chest rig holster for the Public Defender Poly. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip. Whenever you get a new holster, a leather holster, get yourself wax paper, put the waxy side facing out, facing the inner side of the holster, and wrap your firearm a couple of times, stick it in the holster, put it in your safe for a couple of days, and when you take it out, the holster will be nice and stretched, and the waxy side will put a nice little coating inside your, inside your holster for it to slide in and out. So that works very well. I've been doing that for years. I got that from Pete over at the Armory channel. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Public Defender Poly out, make sure it's clear, which it is, it's safe. Five holes there, I'll set that down right there. I like how it stands up when you open up the cylinder on that old 410, big 410 shotgun shell cylinder. All right, let's take a look here. Well, actually, let's move that out of the way a minute. Here's the holster, guys. Fantastic piece of leather. Very, very nice hardware. Stitching is fantastic on it. If you guys have any problems with a holster from Paradise Valley, he stands behind all his work. But from what I see on this and what I've, you know, seen of it, I don't think you're going to have a problem. The stitching is fantastic on it. Let's take a look at the stitching. You can see here, very nice. Everything is burned and backstitched. So I don't see any problems with this fraying or coming out at all. Nice Corby screws on the hardware. Very nice D-rings. The ballistic nylon is very nice. And what he did with the ballistic nylon, if you take a look here, uh, let's see, where is it? On this piece here, nope, yeah, right here. See what he did here? Once he cuts it, he burns it so it's not going to fray on you. You know, that's attention to detail. Somebody might have just cut that and just let it be and stitched it and called it a day. But he burned it so it's not going to fray on you. So that's a nice touch there. Backside, you see some lines in here. It's got to take it on its own character. That's what I like about leather. It takes on its own character when you wear it and the cow that this piece of hide came off of. So overall, very, very nice construction. Here's the backside on the, on the strap here. He's got his logo on there, Paradise Valley. He's out of Montana. And just a, just a great holster company, I think. This is a great piece of leather. It's been a great holster for me so far in the five years I owned it and the one I actually got to carry it. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like on, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like on body. Very, very comfortable to wear, especially if you got a backpack on or something, this is super comfortable, a jacket. You don't even notice it's on you. You got a lot of maneuverability with this being in the center of your chest. This is where I like to run it, right in midsection. You can adjust the ride height, so your mileage may vary where you wanna run it. But for me, this is very comfortable. Has a very nice cant to it, so getting right to the handle and getting a purchase on it is super easy. And this is a two-handed operation for the draw. Because if you were to try to draw this one hand, it's going to go flailing around. Chances are you're going to have a cover garment on that you're going to have to clear with this hand anyway. So let me show you how you would present this. Take this hand. You're going to stick your thumb in here. Hit the thumb brake with this. And then you can present. Reholster. You can put the thumb brake on with one hand. Very simply. When you design this holster, you must put some thought into that. So, you know, one-handed again for taking this thumb brake off or putting it back on, nice and easy. So again, thumb in here, pull for presentation, stick it back in, one-handed to put that thumb brake back on. Very, very nice, very easy to, to get in and out of the holster. Let's take a look at the backside. This is what the back looks like. That's where you'd make your adjustment for your ride height. 
like I said, your mileage may vary for where you want to run it, but for me, this is very comfortable. Very easy to get a purchase on it and to present. That's it. Let's hop off for some final thoughts. All right, so final thoughts on the Paradise Valley chest rig holster. I think it's a great holster for owning it for five years and uh, carrying it for close to a year. Again, I think it's a pretty great holster. Very comfortable, very nice holster to wear. So if anybody's looking for a nice, affordable chest rig leather holster, check out Paradise Valley Leather. Again, I'll leave the link down below for that. All right, guys, that's it. Be sure to leave a comment down below, slap a like on the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.